Hey, what's going on? I'm LaPrentis Sampson and I help health conscious consumers remove, replace, get rid of toxic products in their life so you can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we're going to find out, is core hydration alkaline water? Let's, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. So really quick, if you haven't done so already, make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, that way you can get more tips on different ways you can improve and boost your wellness. All right. Core hydration. Is it alkaline water? It is by the definition of the bottled water industry. All right. So I'm about to dig into that right now. You see, the bottled water industry is an $18 billion industry. Okay. So they know that they are making money off of all of us consumers here by putting on the bottle in case you didn't hear me, I said alkaline water, <laughs> right? And so what are they doing? They're taking water. This one specifically is done by reverse osmosis. They're adding chemicals to it, right? Specifically, this one has calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, and potassium bicarbonate, right? So they're adding minerals in it, right? To make it appear alkaline on a chemical level, right? So, when we pour some water and we actually test the pH of the water to see if it's acidic or alkaline, right? So if you see when I put these drops in, if we see a red, or orange, or yellow, we know that's acidic, right? It's eating the electrolytes in us. And if we see a blue, a purple, or dark purple, we know that it is alkaline, right? So when we put these drops in, You're like, oh my gosh, it's alkaline water. That's exactly what I want. I want it to be that color, All right? But how did it get this way? So we gotta take a step back. Reverse osmosis takes everything out of the water. It takes all the bad stuff out, which is fantastic, but also takes out all the electrolytes and minerals that is in our water also, making it essentially dead water. So dead that actually when you're drinking, reverse osmosis water, never drink it by itself. It's gonna actually take minerals out of your body as it goes through your body. It's gonna take the minerals, it's gonna take it, yank them away from you, and that's bad, we don't want that. So, first off, this is reverse osmosis water. Second of all, we're adding inorganic minerals, okay? So, the potassium bicarbonate is an alternative for baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate. Your magnesium chloride is an inorganic salt, and then your calcium chloride is another salt, which we use to de-ice roads, okay? So this is what we're putting in our body, okay? That, if we drink too much of it, leads to alkalosis, and we can end up vomiting, having nausea, and ultimately it's just too much bicarbonate in our blood, okay? So that's the first thing. This is chemically alkaline. And so I can change it and show its true state by chemically altering it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do something I should never probably be doing, which is blowing into water, right? A little too old for this, but let's see. So as you see, this is the true alkalinity of this water, right? So if the water was that truly alkaline, it would be able to battle back all of the acidity that I'm putting into the water. It would cancel it out, it would neutral it out, but it's not doing that. In fact, it's giving up, it's pretty weak. So ultimately, is core hydration alkaline water? It is by the companies, by the bottled water industry standards, but nah, it's not, it's fake, it's fake. And so they're using the marketing on the bottle, the pH and everything to trick you, do not let pH trick you into thinking that you're drinking alkaline water. Do not follow that. pH is a byproduct of the quality of the water. And if we're putting in inorganic materials, read the back of our water. If it's showing Epsom salts and baking sodas, which have chemical names, then you're drinking fake alkaline water. The best way to find out the best kind of water you should be drinking is to visit my website, LaPrentisSampson.com, or check me out on 
Facebook, on my Facebook page, and I have a report called the five properties that every healthy water must have. It must have all five of these. Because if not, it's not gonna be healthy for us. Highly recommend researching that, checking it out, and it'll show you exactly what water really is alkaline so you can start getting the best water for your health. All right? Our body is 75% water. We deserve the best. You deserve the best. And I hope that you continue to come back so you can get the best. All right? Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.